Irat Film Irat is a 2002 historical drama film written and directed by Atom Egoin and starring Charles Aznavour, Christopher Plummer, David Alpey, Horsney Congian, Eric Bogosian, Bruce Greenwood and Elias Cordiers. It is about a family and film crew in Toronto working on a film based loosely on the 1915 defence of Ant during the Armenian Genocide. In addition to exploring the human impact of that specific historical event, Irat examines the nature of truth and its representation through art. The genocide is disputed by the government of Turkey, an issue that partially inspired and is explored in the film. The film was featured out of competition at the 2002 Cannes Film Festival. It won five awards at the 23rd Genie Awards, including Best Motion Picture. Plot In Toronto, an Armenian-Canadian family is headed by Annie, a widow whose husband attempted to assassinate the Turkish ambassador. Her adult son Rafi is involved in a sexual affair with Celia, his stepsister, who has accused Annie of pushing her father off of a cliff while Annie insists he slipped and fell. Annie gives art history presentations on Armenian-American painter Oshal Gorky, with Celia constantly attending and publicly heckling Annie about concealing the truth. An Armenian film director, Edward Sororain, arrives to Toronto with the goal to make a film about the Armenian genocide, the Van Resistance and Gorky. Annie is hired as a historical consultant, with Rafi working on the project with his mother. An aspiring Turkish-Canadian actor named Oli receives his big break when cast as Ottoman governor Cevdet Bey. Oli reads on the history of the genocide, which he had never heard much of before, and offends Rafi when he tells Saroyan that he believes the Ottomans felt the genocide was justified. In light of World War I, Rafi attempts to explain to Oli that the Armenians were citizens of the Ottoman Empire and that the Turks were not at war with them. Oli shrugs the encounter off, saying they were both born in Canada and they should together try to move past the genocide. After Rafi returns to Canada from a flight to Turkey, he is interrogated at airport security by a retiring customs official named David, who has reason to believe Rafi is involved in the plot to smuggle drugs. Rather than employ drug-sniffing dogs, David prefers to speak to Rafi at length, with Rafi claiming he had taken it upon himself to shoot extra footage in Turkey. In fact, the film is premiering that night. Inspired by his own son, David chooses to believe Rafi is innocent and releases him. The film reels remain with him, however, which David discovers to contain heroin. Themes Issues explored in the film include truth and art. Using a story within a story device, the film explores whether films should recreate war crimes and whether films can alter facts to communicate more important truths. Another theme of the film is gaps between generations, as it explores how later generations understand the historical record rather than the Armenian genocide itself. Numerous Armenian-Canadian characters in the film identify symbols with their heritage, such as pictures of Mount Ararat. The fictionalised Arshal Gorky symbols are a button and a photo of his mother. Gorky is depicted in the film as a link between the history and current life of the Armenian people. Development Director Atom Egoin and his wife, actress Orsene Kondian, are Armenian-Canadians, and some of Egoin's ancestors had been lost in the genocide. Egoin had attempted to explain the genocide to their son, Arshal, when he was around six. Arshel asked did the Turk say sorry. The film Ararat is intended as a response to that question. Producer Robert Lantos had promised that he would support a film about the genocide if Iguian ever felt prepared to make one. Alliance Alantis provided Iguian a budget of $12 million. Filming For cinematography, Iguian worked with his frequent collaborator Paul Sarasi, with shooting taking place over 45 days during summer 2001. The battle scenes depicting the defence of van were shot in Drumheller, Alberta, with some of the soldiers actually being computer-generated. The van villages were also computer-generated. Other scenes were shot at Cherry Beach in Toronto. The film could not be shot in Turkey or at the real Mount Ara because of Turkey's denial of the genocide. The film was made prior to the Parliament of Canada voting to recognise the Armenian genocide in 2004. Egoyan said it was more important that the Turkish government accept the truth. Release MGM considered distributing IRA, but Alexia Minaji, the chief executive, stated that financially it would not be rational for it to distribute the film, therefore Miramax distributed it instead. The film was screened out of competition at the 2002 Cannes Film Festival. The film also played on the opening day of the 2002 Toronto International Film Festival on 5 September. The film opened on 15 November 2002 in Los Angeles, New York City and Toronto. When Ira was released, it was the sole film screened in commercial theatres in the United States in the modern era to be about the Armenian Genocide. The Italian release of Ira was intended to for 24 April 2003. However, its showing was unexpectedly banned by Italian authorities a day before the planned release, with the authorities explaining that the film's distributor missed the deadline to apply for a mandatory censorship certificate. The Embassy of Turkey in Rome acknowledged its government did not want the film screened in Italy, but said it was not involved in the decision that the film would not be shown. 
Initially, the Turkish Minister of State said that the Turkish government would oppose the film as much as possible. However, the Turkish government had given permission for the film to run in Turkey as it was at the time trying to increase freedom of expression so Turkey could join the European Union. The Irish film had permission from the Turkish government to release the film in Turkey itself, but opted not to when nationalists pledged to take action. It ran on the Turkish TV station Canal Turk four years later. Box Office In the opening week after the limited release on 15 November, the film averaged $35,188 per screen. It made $162,000 in five theatres by 18 November. By 24 days, it had made US$1.1 cent million in North America. The film completed its run on 30 January 2003 with a gross of $1,555,959 in North America. It grossed $1,187,377 in other territories for a total of $2,743,336. Critical Reception Critical reception was mostly negative. In Canada, the Globe and Mail wrote the metaphors are provocative, but too often the viewer is left puzzled by the mechanics of the delivery. Brian D. Johnson, writing for McLean's, called it frustrating, though also interesting, and said it fell short despite ambition. The National Post review stated Egoyne is almost crippled by a need to show all sides. At the Toronto International Film Festival, the National Panel of Judges placed it in the year's top ten. Roger Ebert gave it two and a half stars, calling it needlessly confusing, saying it clearly comes from Egoyne's heart but is too much, too heavily layered, too needlessly difficult, too opaque. He also said it was disputed whether the filmed quote from Adolf Hitler that the Armenian genocide is forgotten is genuine. In the New York Times, Stephen Holden called the film a profound reflection on historical memory and hands down the year's most thought-provoking film. The BBC Tom Dawson wrote the film feels clumsy and convoluted compared to Egoyne's other work. Ira has a 55% rating at Rotten Tomatoes based on 76 reviews and a metascore of 62 generally favourable reviews of Metacritic. Nationalist Criticism Ethic Turks in Canada had proposed boycotting films by Disney and its subsidiary companies, and several nationalist critics sent emails to the Egoyne and established websites arguing that the film's premise is not true. Some individuals sent threats to Egoyne, including statements that a release of the film could result in danger for Armenians in Turkey. Film Quarterly stated Ira touched off a new round of angry denials and charges of hate monitoring. Accolades The film won several awards. These included five awards at the 23rd Genie Awards, which Ayurat star Arsene Konjian co-hosted with actor Peter Kellican. Ego Yin was not present. In 2008, the Government of Israel also awarded the Dan David Prize to Ego Yin for a creative rendering of the past. Ayurat was especially a reason for the honour.